Good morning. Good morning. Um, happy Autism Awareness Hi. Day. Oh, and Dylan has a boo boo he wants to tell you about. What happens? I just, I just get up the stairs. He tripped up the stairs and he hit his head. Right? Hmm. You okay? Hmm. All right. Today is April 2nd. Um, it's Autism Awareness Day, so we're wearing our blue today to show support, right? Um, Dylan, would you like to start the Days of the Week song so we can find out what day it is today? I just have blue. Yeah, you have blue on too, just like Mommy. Where's the blue? Right here. Your shirt, it's a light blue color. And you have navy blue pants on. Wow. Ready? Days of the Week. Days of the Week. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 Dylan, if yesterday was Wednesday, what's today? A Tuesday. No, not Tuesday. Wednesday, Thursday. Good job. So today is Thursday and it's April 2nd. And today, Dylan, I'm going to hold the book so they can see what we're reading. We're reading. We're reading plant patterns. You're all done? Okay, that's okay. Mommy can read the book, sweetie. <laughs> so today we're reading plant patterns. So this book is um, a non-fiction book. Um, so it's going to give information about different plants, all right? And it's going to be teaching us about different patterns that these plants have. So a lot of the books that we've been doing for Read Aloud, like Pizza at Sally's, for instance, these are fiction books, right? Fiction or fake. And I can tell, um, you know, the people in the stories are drawn, right? or drawn, they're illustrated, okay? So in a fiction book, you're gonna see like illustrations like that. But in a non-fiction book, you're gonna see photographs instead of drawings, like this is a photograph, right? Someone took this with their camera. They didn't draw it, okay? So I am going to read um, plant patterns. So as I read today, just listen and look for the different patterns that plants can have. And then um, I will post in the um, description below the video, but there is a SciShow Kids video that goes along with this um, that you can watch. And there are also some follow-up books on GetEpic.com that I will suggest too that go along with this uh, plant patterns theme. Okay, so plant patterns. It's by Nathan Olson. Okay, so something else a nonfiction text has is a table of contents. So this tells you, you know, if you want to read about, let's say today we just want to read about uh, the color patterns of a flower. I'm going to look here. It says color patterns, and I'm going to look at page 8, right? So I would use my page numbers down here at the bottom. Okay, so there's a 5. I'm going to go to page 8. And on page 8, look at that. There's my heading, color patterns. So that means that whatever I read until I see the next heading is going to be all about color patterns. Oh, there's another heading, right? So, plant patterns. What is a pattern? A pattern is made by a repeated shape or color. Let's look for patterns in the world of plants. Each of these trees looks exactly like the others. Trees trimmed to look the same make a pattern. Plants trimmed into green, leafy animal shapes, like this elephant you see right here, look fun, but they do not form a pattern, right? So these trees over here form a pattern. But the elephant, that's a fun, fun animal made out of a, out of a plant, right? But it's not a pattern color patterns. Bleeding heart flowers bloom in a color pattern. Each pink flower repeats the same white stripe. No, 
rows of tulips, all the same shade, make a single color pattern. Rows repeat the same colorful stripes. Gardens make patterns by the way they plant different colored flowers. So I see another heading here, right? Row and ring patterns. <clears throat> Rows of prickly spines on a cactus make a repeating pattern. Look closer. Do you see a star pattern? So I like how the author decided to do this. He said look closer and he even uh, zoomed in right here, right? By showing these, these needles up close so that you can look there and find that star pattern that you would see on a cactus. Farmers plant rows of corn. The tops grow into a pattern of tassel stripes. Look closely and you'll see that each ear of corn has its own repeating rows of yellow kernels. Bamboo can grow as tall as a tree, but it is really a grass. A pattern of rings circle each green stalk. Tree trunks grow their own patterns. Each year, the tree adds a new ring. So if each year a tree adds a new ring, if you wanted to find out how old the tree was, you could count the rings to find out how old that tree is. Okay, here's another um, heading, wildly wonderful patterns. Ferns uncurl in a spiral pattern called a fiddlehead, which you see right here. Before they scattered, Dandelion seeds burst into a pattern of tiny stars. A sunflower's yellow petals grow in a pattern around the blossom's middle. Seeds in the center of a sunflower swirl in a pattern of green and gold. Oh, look, Dylan didn't stick with us today, but Kitty is. You say hi, Magoo? <laughs> you wouldn't want to sit on a, oh, heliconia's pattern. Oh, look at that, heliconia. Its leaves repeat a pointy red shape. <clears throat> when a Venus flytrap snaps shut, a pattern of spiky hairs helps trap its food inside. <clears throat> Plants sprout many patterns of stripes, spots, colors, and shapes. And then some, um, also in nonfiction texts of, at the end, sometimes they have some extra information, like these are all plant pattern facts, all right? And sometimes there's also, yep, a glossary. So a glossary is kind of like a, a dictionary, but glossaries are found in the back of book of um, nonfiction books. And if there was a word that I read that you didn't understand, like here, this this word, hel so I said heliconia. Let's see, it gives, yep, I was right. It gives the pronunciation right here. A heliconia, which is a plant with bright pointing leaves that grow opposite of one another. So as I read today, that was something... <clears throat> that I kind of got hung up on, um, that I had never heard of before, right? So if I wanted to know more information, I can check the back of the book. Also, here are some suggestions if you want to read more about plant patterns. They give you some resources and also some internet sites, all right? So I'll hold this up if you want to take a screenshot. Hold on, let me center it here. If you want to take a screenshot of any of those so that you can read more. Okay. And um, like I said, I am also going to up, uh, put in the description on this video um, some 
a book. I actually think it's not a book. I think it is a song on Get Epic. So Get Epic not only has books, but it has songs and, and things like that. And I think that the song is all about patterns. So having your child practice patterns at home. And then I also will uh, put a link to the SciShow Kids video uh, today, which is, I think it's called uh, plants with weapons. Um, so it kind of talks about how plants can defend themselves. Um, so go ahead and check that out. And I will see you back shortly with um, our phonics. I did make a post on the dojo parents that um, I do have a training, an online training that I have to do this afternoon. So I'm not going to be doing a math or a writing lesson this afternoon, but I will be back doing that tomorrow. Uh, but I am going to do phonics here in a little bit too. So I will see you in a bit.